Alright, so let's look at the second part of how to rationalize the denominator of a set. You have to recall this identity from the previous session because we are going to make use of that. Alright, so if you have a number like this and you want to rationalize it, the only thing you have to do is you have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. Okay, so we have this times 5 minus root 3 over 5, sorry, this is 5, 5 minus what? Root 3, okay? So this one will be equal to 2 we'll multiply the numerator, 5 minus root 3 over, actually we are going to have 5 plus root 3 by 5 minus what? Root 3, okay? This is 5. So, 2 times 5 will give me what? 10. And then 2 times negative root 3 will be what? Minus 2 root 3. All over. Over here, we are going to make use of this identity. Okay? So we are going to have 5 squared minus what? Root 3 squared. Alright, so we can simplify this further. We get 10 minus 2 root 3 over 5 squared is what? 25 minus. The square will cancel the root and we are having what? 3. Okay, so this is equal to 10 minus 2 root 3 over what? 25 minus 3 will give me what? 22. That's your answer. So we have made the denominator what? A rational number. Alright, let's look at the second example. As you may have 2 root 3 over root 7 plus root 3. You have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. The conjugate of the denominator. And the conjugate of this denominator will be root 7 minus root 3 over what? Root 7 minus what? Root 3. Okay, let me change this. Alright, so we go ahead and multiply. So we 2 root 3 will multiply the numerator, so 2 root 3 will multiply root 7 minus what? root 3 all over this one to multiply that. So we have root 7 plus root 3, we multiply by root 7 minus what? root 3, alright? And so, and so if 2 root 3 multiplies root 7, See, there is a hidden one here. So, the 2 will multiply the 1, and we are getting what? 2. With 3, we multiply with 7. If with 3 multiplies with 7, the radicands will multiply. 3 by 7 will be what? 21. Okay? Let's come here to 2 root 3 times negative root 3. There is a hidden one here, as in this case. So, 2 times that negative 1 will give me what? Negative 2. And then root 3 times root 3 will give me what? 3 all over you see over here we are going to make use of this identity as in the first case so we have root 7 squared minus what root 3 squared all right so let's simplify we have 2 root 21 minus 2 times 3 will give me what 6 over this to cancel the root then we have 7 minus this one will cancel this we are having 3 Okay, so this is equal to 2 root 21 minus 6 over 7 minus 3 is what? 4. We have changed the denominator to what? A rational number. That is all the idea about rationalizing the denominator of a set. Okay, alright. Now, see you in the next session.